Hi guys. Okay. Today we are going to be doing the Ipsy verse Ipsy verse Ipsy. Uh, these are one of my absolute favorite videos to film. And as you can tell, I am back home. Uh, this video, I have some videos that will be going up out of order. So some of these, some of the videos that will be going up after this will be pre-filmed. So if, you know, they're before I left for vacation or anything, just don't worry. I am back now and I am doing all of my unboxings. You will see me in the same makeup and outfit for a few videos. I'm sorry about that, but <sighs> I'm back. It is nice to be back home, but I, it's never easy leaving my family. But let's just jump right in this. If you are unfamiliar, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription. However, that is about to change. I just got an email stating Ipsy will be going up to $12 a month starting October. Not very happy about it, but I understand uh, they are supposed to be improving and giving you a higher value. And doing so, they will have to, you know, up the back, up the price. And if this is your first video on my channel, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, what I do is I get three different Ipsy's and three different profiles. And we decide, does Ipsy follow your beauty profile? Uh, also, if you see my nails, don't mind them. They're like very chipped and gross. I had them done for a wedding and then I picked them because that's just who I am. Let's just, let me stop blabbing here. Let's just jump right into it. So the first one says I'm 42. I have fair skin. I'm somewhat comfortable with makeup. I have black hair and green eyes. So let's just open this bad boy up. Nothing here and there is. Okay, so we have one thing outside of the ooh, outside of the bag, and this is an SL Miss Glam brush. The way I can tell is SL Miss Glam always has the two little rhinestones right here on the ferrule. And it's this really pretty like turquoise green color. And it's got like this glitter handle. And this is the SL Miss Glam Ingled Eye. E61 brush and as you can tell it is angled. I love SL Miss Glam brushes and I love getting brushes in subscription boxes. I have a lot of SL Miss Glam brushes and they are amazing quality. So right off the bat we're starting this bag off pretty great but the bag itself is super super cute. It's like this dark army green color and it's like studded. I love it and it's got like a gold zipper and then just a little green tassel type thing. So let's open it and let's pull up the card. The card says, this month use your five glam bag picks to celebrate and highlight all the things you love or are learning to love about yourself. Oh, I like that. This says, bear yourself. So, you know, kind of bare skin and just natural makeup. But inside it will tell us everything we got and a little bit about the products, but I'm not going to spoil it. So let's just pull up the first thing. First thing I see is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Trophy Wife. I don't think this is one I have. It looks like this. Let's swatch it. Ooh, that is a very, very pretty mauve berry shade. A little lighter than what I'm wearing now. Very, very pretty. So, so far we are starting this bag off amazing. However, for this someone who is says I'm not very comfortable with makeup, to get a very deep mauve shade uh, lip pencil is not ideal, but Let's just pull the next thing, which is wrapped up in a little bubble wrap, and this is by Space Case. I've gotten something from them before. How the heck do I get this out? Okay, got it. And this is a Space Case Cosmetics uh, eyeshadow in the shade Intense Stargasm. So I've gotten a Space Case eyeshadow before, and it was in a really pretty green color, but this is a very pretty, like, uh, almost purpley silver. I'm swatching this one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's like a purpley silver shade. Very, very, very pretty. I love Smace, Smace, Space Case Cosmetics eyeshadows. Uh, like I said, I had a green one in uh, Loch Ness. Uh, what is it? Messy Loch Nessie. I only remember because they do like cute little rhyming names and stuff. I am super, super excited about this. Let's pull up the next thing, which this is a decent sample. This is the Dermatologist Tested Formula for Oily and Combination Skin. Uh, all my profiles, I have uh, dry skin, so not necessarily following the profile. This is the 2-in-1 Pore, Pore Purifying Cleansing Gel. Man, oh man, that was a mouthful. It cleanses, tightens, and balances, and it's by Shiro, Shiro Science. It looks like this, and it says AM and PM 
two-in-one pore purifying cleanser was formulated to help maintain your skin's natural hydration and keep your pores small and in formation. It's sulfate-free, cruelty-free, and was created in partnership with our dermatologist and founder to give what to give you what you want most in a daily cleanser. For and it's for oily and combination skin. I will give this a try because I do have, you know, dry to normal skin, so maybe this will work for me. I will give it a try. If I don't like it, I can always give it to someone who will. But I'm excited to try that, and it is a decent sample size. And last but not least, we have a teeny tiny little sample, and this is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion, oil-free for all skin types. It's a hydro-plumping, skin-transforming, weightless moisturizer. I love the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, and this is a gel lotion, and I love like gels and water gels. So this will probably be amazing. Like I said, I do love the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. So having a gel version of that, I will love that even more. Even though I have dry skin, I know gels are usually for like oily skin, but I love a good gel moisturizer. But this is a teeny tiny sample. Looks like this. And you only get 0.17 fluid ounces. So like I said, a very, very teeny tiny sample. However, this bag is amazing. That is everything in the first bag. That bag that I just did was the black bag that said I was 42, I had fair skin, and I'm somewhat comfortable with makeup. For someone who is very comfortable with makeup, I don't think the deep lip would have been okay, but the eyeshadow would have been fine. Um, other than that, Ipsy did okay with that bag. The next bag says I have gray hair, violet eyes, fair skin, and I'm not comfortable with makeup at all, and I'm 29. Let's open this up. Nothing on the outside. Again, the same little bag. Love this bag open it up and let's just pull up the card to get that out of the way and let's just pull up the first thing I see which is oh I'm excited about this I don't care what it is I just love this brand this is youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood face wash Ooh, I'm excited I've tried a youth to the people plant or moisturizer before and it was amazing like one of the best moisturizers I've ever tried but it's so pricey but this is the cleanser and it's for all skin types. It's a cold pressed plant extract, 100% vegan ingredients, no animal testing and made in California. Let's open this up. I'm excited to see what, oh, that's a decent size. And the bottle itself is glass too. That is a very decent size. It's not filled all the way to the top, but that is okay. I'm so excited to try this. You get 0.5 fluid ounces. I am very, very excited to try that. Okay, let's pull up the next thing, which is by Estate Cosmetics, and this is the Do Me Baked Highlighting Highlight Powder in the shade Lit. Um, I've tried the Do Me highlighters before. I don't remember exactly what shade I have, but I do really like the formula. For it being a baked highlighter, sometimes baked highlighters will be really scratchy and not very like soft and stuff. The Doomy ones are always super, super soft. Ooh, this is a, I don't have this one. This is a very pretty gold shade. Let's do a swatch. And again, super soft like their highlighters always are. This is a very pretty light gold. It's that right there. I love their highlighters. And you get a decent size. Like, that is a decent sized highlighter. Love, love, love that. A few more things left. Let's pull up the next thing, which is a brush. And this is by Vasanti. And this is the Concealer Buffer Brush. I actually have this brush. I've gotten it in an Ipsy before. Let me grab it. Okay, mine is right here. The only reason I knew I had this brush was because I use this for concealer or applying eyeshadow primer. If I use, like, my matte paint pot, my MAC paint pot, it will, like, dip this swirl us in and then, like, buff it all over my eyes. I love this brush. It's a very fluffy, dense brush, though. Like, I don't know if you couldn't really use this for eyeshadow unless you want a lot of pigment. This is a more of a face brush, but I love, love, love this brush. This will be thrown into a giveaway for one of you guys, and hopefully you guys will love it as much as I do. Okay, the next thing we have is, this is the Thank Me Later Face Primer Illuminating by Elizabeth Mott. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Elizabeth Mott. But it looks like this. It looks like a little eye primer. But this is a face primer and you get 0.17 ounces. And it is made in South Korea. And it's a illuminating primer. Let's just apply some on the back of my hand. Ooh, okay. 
very illuminating. It's like a iridescent pearl shade. Ooh, okay, but when you blend it out, it's like a pinky shade. Very illuminating. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's right here. You can't see it on my, although you can kind of see it. That, it doesn't have a smell. I'm very excited to try that. I love, 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 love face primers. I love illuminating primers. And last but not least, we have something by Wander Beauty. It is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Um, let me check because I think I might have a full size of this. And if I do, I'm obviously not going to open this. Okay, so I do have the full size. I'm pretty sure these are the same thing. I read them and they look like the same. They're both the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. In the back, they both have the same this bright berry mask. Okay, so I actually just looked it up and these masks are two separate masks. This is, I guess, just a rose gold version and this one is just a regular one. Um, there looks to be a little bit of difference. This one's more brightening and like illuminating and this one is just a brightening and purifying one. So I guess there's a difference, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna put this in a giveaway because I'm never gonna go through this and they're relatively the same thing. That is exciting to receive. Let's go into the last one. The last one is my regular profile. So I'm 20 years old, I have blonde hair, blue eyes, and I'm very comfortable with makeup and I have fair skin. Same bag, no variation. I love this bag though, so, so pretty. Okay, it's just, that this bag's just giving me 100% fall vibes. Okay. So again, we have a card. Yeah, I'm seeing a repeat product, which again, this is the Youth to the People Kale Green Tea Spinach Superfood Face Wash. I will throw this one in a giveaway because I don't need two. And the next thing I see is Pixie by Petra, which I love their face mask, but I don't think I've ever really tried anything else from the brand besides like face masks. But this looks to be a blush. It's the Peach Parfait Blush. Let me open this and we will do a swatch. It's got like, um, plastic wrap around it. Very, very pretty shade. It does look to have a little bit of a, like a shimmer to it, like a sheen. So that shade right there. Just a very light pink with a light gold sheen to it. I'm excited to try that. I've never tried anything other than the Pixie Spray and like a few face masks. So I am excited to give that a try and see how I like it. The next thing we have is by Eva NYC and it's the Satin Dream Leave-In Cream with Caravis and Argon Oil. It detangles, smooths, and moistures for moisturizes for all hair types. I'm definitely gonna give this a try. I love, love, love tie-dye packaging. I know you can get this brand at Target, uh, but I'm very excited to try this because I love anything that smooths and moisturizes my hair. I have some of the frizziest hair. But we have another repeat. This is another Vasanti concealer brush. Again, that'll go on a giveaway for one of you guys. And last but not least, we have and Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later face primer, but this is the mattifying version. Um, okay, okay. This one's got a safety seal, so I'm not gonna open it. I don't know why I got a mattifying version because I do specify in all of my things that I have dry skin. However, I think Ipsy kind of killed it this month. You, there's, it's very hard for Ipsy to not do good for me. We didn't get a lot of skincare products, which I'm fine by. I love skincare. And it does fit the theme this month of like natural makeup and focusing on your bare skin. And that does, does fit. We did get a lot of natural products like the blush. But I think Ipsy absolutely killed it this month. If you get Ipsy, let me know what you guys got down below. Did we get some of the same products? If you love this, if you love Ipsy, let me know. Also, let me know what you guys think about Ipsy raising their prices at $12 a month. I'm a little hurt by it, but I'll be okay. That is all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe down below. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week. And if three times a week is not enough for you, you can follow me on all my social media down below. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter for a little more behind the scenes look at my life. It gets a little crazy sometimes, but thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.